Welcome back to part three of how to build a corkscrew in Fusion 360. In this part, we're going to finish out both the arms on each side of the corkscrew. So let's start with a sculpted body. And we're going to keep it really simple. We're basically just going to go ahead and extrude that bottom rectangle from the bottom of the arm. So go ahead and drag that extrusion out. Let's add a few more faces to it. So I'm going to say about four faces there. That looks good. And let's keep it simple. So let's just finish it, finish the form right there. The next thing we want to do is add symmetry about a vertical axis. So pick those two faces to add symmetry. And then go ahead and start tweaking um, the shape a little bit. So I'm going to pick two side edges. Since it's symmetrical, it's going to pick the edges on the other side as well. And basically just start pulling them out just a little bit so that I'm happy with the shape and the form that they're starting to take. This is going to be the bottom of the arms that sort of grip on to the top of a wine bottle that you might be opening. So different arrows and different um, control points on that edit form and make sure that you're happy with your shape as you're getting done with it. Let's add another line of symmetry along the other vertical axes and start editing that form as well. I'm mostly picking edges while editing this form here just because it gets me results that I'm looking for, but definitely feel free to experiment with the shape and form at this point. One last edge there, pinch it in just a little bit. I'm going to hit finish form here when I'm done, just to make sure that it actually converts back um, quite nicely. And it looks like I have no problems there, so I can go back on the timeline and simply edit that form. There's two things I want to do now. One of them is close the bottom and the other one is close the top. To close the bottom, since I need it to be more rounded, I'm basically just going to pick again the edges. And because it's symmetry, that basically picks around. And I'm going to scale them in, just like we did the handle of the corkscrew. Again, if you wanted to add an edge, you would just hold down Alt and continue to drag in. And it would drop an edge in there as well. The next thing I want to do is close off the top so that this isn't a surface. It's, in fact, a solid body. So let's turn off that original arm. And you'll notice that it's, it's a surface right now. So we want to close that off. Let's go into the patch environment. And we want to create a patch connecting all four of those edges and just simply stitch it with the rest of the form. And there you go. That form is now a solid body. How easy was that? In the model environment, we then want to go ahead and combine that little grip at the bottom of the arm to the rest of the arm. So again, just simply select the arm and then the, the grip and go ahead and say OK. And from there, we want to make the transition from the rectangular arm to the form we just created a little bit smoother. So we want to add some fillets along the top edge there. And so let's go around and pick all four of those edges, three and four. And using the arrow, we can simply push and pull to see what shape looks good to us. Fabulous. So the next step would be to mirror that arm across to the other side of the corkscrew. Now this is slightly tricky just because there isn't exactly a mirror component functionality in Fusion just yet. So we're going to use a simple workaround to be able to do that. First, let's use the mirror command and make sure you pick the mirror body option to mirror that arm over to the other side. Pick the appropriate vertical plane to have it be positioned properly and go ahead and hit OK. Also, you'll notice that in that component under bodies, you'll see both of those mirror groups there. Now, what happens when I move one component is that it moves the other one with it as well. And that's not what we're looking for here. We're looking for them to move independent or in opposite directions. So what I'm going to do is convert that second mirror body to a component and then go ahead and copy it and paste it in the top level assembly. Be sure to notice that I use the Paste New option and not the Paste option. I don't want to move it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to delete the original body that I copied. So that component 10 at the bottom is now the new mirrored component, and it moves independently. As you can see, it's not moving right now when I move the, the first body. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go ahead and create a joint since the second arm is its own component. Make sure that joint is placed appropriately, so revolute joint, have that arm function like I want it to. And now instead of building another contact set, let's go ahead and place a motion link. 
between those two revolute joints so that uh, Fusion knows that those joints are linked together. And notice as soon as I do that, the animation shows that they're both moving together. Pick the reverse option simply to have them be moving in reverse directions. How easy is that? And so now when you move the arm on one side, both the vertical gear as well as the arm on the other side move. I love looking at this animation. Fantastic. That was part three. We're almost done with this corkscrew. We'll see you in part four.